I don't get out into the woods or onto the water as often as I'd like, so I do what I can to create a little habitat around my house. There are always little surprises. We have a lot of cool-looking native bees in Florida, and I love to see butterflies in my yard. With that in mind, we're going to native nurseries in Tallahassee. We're going to learn a little bit about attracting pollinators. Most people automatically think of flowering pretty plants that are really highly attractive as butterfly plants, and those are necessary. Those are the nectar food plants, like this pinta is an example of that. The most important plant in order for them to continue to live is the larval food plants. They are the plants that the adult butterflies lay their eggs on and then the caterpillars hatch and they feed on those specific host plants. Some plants, like this milkweed, are both nectar and host plants. Butterflies are attracted to the food their caterpillars eat. It's always good to plant in at least threes. They're much more able to smell them. And then they are attracted to them, they land, and they lay their eggs. There are also other food crops that we like to eat that the butterflies like to eat as well. And so parsley, fennel, dill, those are all members of the carrot family. And that family is larval food for the black eastern swallowtail butterfly. You know, we'll plant a plot for the butterflies and plant a plot for us and we just transfer any that we find. You kind of just have to plant enough for both of you. <laughs> for nectar food for butterflies, there are certain types of flowers that they prefer. And one of the types is the, the composite family, which this is a native sylphium, which is kind of in the sunflower family of plants. And when we see plants like this, just like a sunflower, you think of this as one bloom, but it's actually many blooms, then that's why it's called a composite flower. Rather than going from one big flower to another big flower, it can land right here and just sit and have a little buffet style meal. So that saves energy for them. I think it's really important to include native species of flowers and larval food plants in your yard because butterflies and other insects have established ecological relationships with those plants. We like to include some non-native plants as well, like the, these pintas right here. And they have a longer season of bloom because they're tropical, they're not seasonal. And they just keep blooming and keep blooming until frost kills them back in the winter. Sometimes I take an extra second and really look at the plants in my yard. You never know what you'll find under any given leaf, and that's what makes it fun. For WFSU, I'm Rob Diaz de Villegas.